are you guys? I keep saying how are you guys as if you guys could respond back to me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm back with another missions video. This time I'm encouraging you all to come out here, not just the Dominican Republic, but everywhere. And I'm sure reasons on why you should. So get ready. Reason number one, you get to explore the world and experience a new culture. So I love to travel. I really, really do. I jump at the opportunity to come to DR with my church for this mission trip. Although I knew it would be no vacation, I was just excited to be a part of something new, just a new culture, and experiencing God in a whole new way. You need so much family and I'm not even talking about blood I'm talking about your family in Christ so we went to so many churches and they just welcomed us all with open arms and they were just hugging us and kissing us and just smiling at us and you know that's how it's supposed to be as a body of Christ we are a family you know we're in one unit and we were just acting as if we known each other for forever and although we have it we know we have that eternal bond we will see each other later on in heaven You get to connect with your church members, your church family in a whole new way. It was so funny just being here, just seeing how they get on each other, like their jokes, like Haitians are funny, yo, like I was just dying like most of the time and just also seeing like the switch up, you know, how serious they are with their walk in Christ. As the youngest one here, they took very good care of me. Some conversations I just couldn't quite understand. They made sure I was good at all times and they just showed me mad love. It was great just being with them. It brought about a whole new bond. The kids, I'm not even a kid person, y'all, but <laughs> I love babies. I love them like up to like four years old, you know, like they're around that age. I don't know, they get quite annoying, but here, here, like being on this mission trip, my heart has bursted for every single child. I'm just like, I can't even, like, can I just take you? Like, they're all so beautiful and just so innocent. Some of them were just so shy, like, they would stare at me and they're just like, look away. I'm just like, my heart, my heart, Lord! A few followed me like everywhere I went and there was even a few that were playing hide and seek with me as well and it was just so beautiful. I love being with the children the most. Gratefulness. You know that song, Gratefulness? Hezekiah, yeah, Hezekiah Walker. Literally flowing from my heart. Like, I get it. I get it. Seeing all the poverty, like, you will undoubtedly get silent in reflection, or maybe you'll cry, or maybe you're just like stoic and you don't know what to say or what to feel. One emotion that I know you will instantly identify with is thankfulness. I wish us Americans would just get out of our comfort zones and just go out into places that we don't know in order to preach the gospel. I really do believe God is raising up a generation of those who are unashamed and just so bold and on fire for him. Missions is a way to, you know, show your love for him. Also, just to show him you know how grateful you are for what you have and how grateful you are for this opportunity to go out and preach his word because here's one thing we are not better than them at all there's going to be things we don't understand like i don't understand how we can live how we live and they could live like that you can't even say favor ain't fair because Jesus, he loves us all. We are all his children. This is by his grace, honestly. I don't get it, but I am grateful and I know I can use my voice and use my own love. Just everything that he has given me in order to glorify him in every way that I can. 
When I say it is real out here, it is real out here. I need a dictionary to find a different word because I'm over here using our vernacular and it does not suffice at all. Like, it is real. And um, I want you to experience that realness. The things we see on TV, like, sometimes we're just so desensitized because we just see it all the time. And you know, like, and it doesn't mean much to us seeing these kids on the floor. Just being in the dirt, you know, poverty being all that they know. Going out into the field which is wake you up and just stir up your heart in so many ways. Okay, so you grow spiritually. God stretches us many different ways, emotionally, mentally, and especially spiritually. He just wants to be closer to us, and He wants us to feel that way as well. That's why we look for all these different ways in order to, to reach Him, even if it's not through Christ. That's the only way, however, we try every little thing, and if we don't do that, we become our own God. But I've been growing spiritually here. I mentioned in my last video how I'm not a morning person. However, I have to wake up. I'm waking up every single day to meet with my church family and to pray and to usher in God's presence on this resort and into the field. I also mentioned that I love a service in Creole, guys. I'm so proud of myself. And it's all glory be to God because I've never done it. I've always just worked with my youth. So to lead a group of a older generation was just, it was a great experience as well. I don't get nervous. I know I'm a quiet person, but I'm not like, I don't get the jitters. I don't get nervous. I just did all that I had to do to prepare myself and I put myself out there. And that's what he wants us to do, not just abroad, but at home. He wants to use you. He wants to see if you're willing. And with these tests and these trials and these opportunities, you just grow spiritually. In the last video, I talk about how you're just exposed to the amazing work of God's hands, miraculous things, just breakthroughs, and you can see when something of, is of God, but you will also see when something is of the enemy. Like, clearly, I knew the devil was real, but me over here, I was just like, whoa, this Christian walk is not a joke, is not something to play with at all, but also to know that you are covered when you were saved. Covered. I talked about that more in the last video, so go check that out. When you go on a mission trip, you are walking in your purpose. As a Christian, you are a follower of Christ. So if you're a follower of Christ, you're going to do what he says, right? Right? I mean, that's pretty much how it goes. If we follow Christ, we do what's required of us. In Matthew 28, verse 19, he says, and this is the God's word translation, so wherever you go, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He said go. That wasn't, uh, oh, maybe you should, or um, if you have time, or um, I know you don't have money, but because <laughs> I don't, but he will make a way. Like, honestly, just show him the desires, reveal to him, like, how much you want to do this, and he will find a way to make it happen for you. Go. That's what he says. Go and make disciples of each nation. Clearly, it is not easy, but this is what you do. You start at home. You start in your neighborhood. You start in the streets. We were meant to live in peace. We were meant to live in harmony with God and have that constant communication with him, but... We don't have that anymore because of sin. It was through Jesus, his death and his resurrection that we now have that connection again. And so we have to go out there and tell people, God loves you, right? When you have something good, share it, right? I mean, I would hope so. Like keeping God to yourself is selfish. I don't know not one person that doesn't want to get blessed. When you're on a mission, you're like asking God to. It's like he has no choice but to. You're literally following what he says to do. Go and make disciples out of all nations. I just mentioned that my last little reason why. You're asking God to bless you. And I'm not even just talking about monetary blessings and like material blessings. He will work in your life in ways that you can't even imagine. I'm so excited to see what he's going to do for me, what he's going to do for you. And it's all because of our obedience. We have to practice in that walk. And the more we obey, he rewards us. But it's not just, well, it's not at all about the rewards, actually. It's discipline, it's learning, it's obedience, it's 
all these things that he wants to see in you and in me in order to bring forth his kingdom here on earth where it's all time for us to head on so go out there to your nearest homeless shelter and help out um, go feed um, go feed the people remember that you're no better reach to your family pray for those who are lost we all have family members that don't all have jesus if you were blessed to grow in a household where christ is in the center there's no reason for you to not want someone else to have that as well so pray for your uncles and your aunts i know being here just made me want to do more for my family and my friends and people i don't even know at all going on a mission trip gives you that i don't care attitude i gotta do what i gotta do no matter how i look like no matter how tired i am no matter who says what no matter who got me mad no matter who got me feeling some type of way, no matter who got me in my feelings, I'm gonna do what I'm called to do. It doesn't matter how I'm feeling, it doesn't matter how nasty this weather is, it doesn't matter how hot I am, you are not too cute for this. The old me, I mentioned in my last video, would never, never consider doing this. If you're a girly girl like me and you think you can't handle it, you can. God will give you strength. I ain't going to do what God says I need to do. I did it. I did it. <laughs> you can too. Trust me. If I can do this, you can do this. So, these are all the reasons why you should go on a mission trip, guys. I really hope that you do so. The world needs help. There's just so many people whose hearts need the Lord. Well, everyone needs the Lord. But there needs to be a messenger. And God has planted His children, us, his followers in order to spread the good news. So get up. Go.